Okay, this is Dr. Howard Rosenthal, and I want to ask you a thought-provoking question. Can a funny little short story I created really raise your counseling exam score? Answer, for sure, absolutely. So here it is. The head administrator on the planet Mars peered into his telescope one day and noticed it was raining on planet Earth. Now, since it doesn't rain on Mars, he wanted to know why. He had two top scientists, so he asked one scientist to go down to Earth to answer the question of what caused it to rain. The esteemed Martian scientist got into his little green spaceship. Yes, it was energy efficient, but I'm not sure if he got a tax rebate for purchasing it, and zipped down to Earth. He looked around, started laughing, went right back to Mars to report his findings. Next time, he told the head Martian, ask me to investigate a difficult problem. This one was too easy. You see, Earthlings have these things called windshield wipers on their vehicles, and when they turn them on, presto! It rains. Unbeknownst to this scientist, the top Martian administrator wanted to make certain he truly had the correct answer. So he secretly put his other top scientist on the case. Like the other Martian scientist, she got into her little green spaceship, which truthfully might have been a tad cooler and nicer looking than his, but trust me when I say that's a little out of my area of expertise. Anyway, she flew down to Earth to investigate. Like the first scientist, she looked around and returned to Mars to reveal her findings. What an easy problem to solve, she told the administrator. The administrator was excited and said, Please tell me, I can't wait another minute. What causes it to rain on Earth? Oh, it's so simple, she replied. The people have this gizmo called an umbrella, and when they open it, presto, it begins raining. So, what's the moral of the story? Correlation is not causation. Say it out loud. Yes, it's really that important. Correlation is not causation. Instead, correlation indicates the strength of an association or relationship between two variables. When you see a serious house fire, you often see a lot of fire trucks, but the fire trucks didn't cause the fire. Once when I was teaching this to a graduate class, I happened to notice that every student was wearing athletic shoes. Now, we all know that wearing athletic shoes did not cause every student to sign up and take my class. Ditto for the fact that most of them had a cell phone, laptop, or electronic device. Great examples of correlation, but the fuse or electric devices were not causal factors. Okay, so here are seven terrific mini hints for dealing with correlation questions on your exam. One, The concept of correlation is often attributed to two individuals. First, Sir Francis Galton related to Charles Darwin, and Galton was investigating inherited traits and intelligence. Two, Carl Pearson, and Carl is spelled, by the way, with a K, created the mathematical formula far correlation in the 1890s, 
and this became the Pearson Correlation Coefficient 3. On your exam, correlation coefficients are generally abbreviated with a lower case r, such as r equals 0.50, r, r equals negative 0.60. Hint 4, by the way, negative 0.60 is a stronger correlation than 0.50 even though it is negative. On your exam, a negative correlation might be called an inverse correlation. Example, theoretically, brushing your teeth more leads to less cavities. One variable goes up brushing while the other goes down. Hint 5, correlations range from negative 1 to 0 to positive 1. Zero shows lack of correlation. Incidentally, on your exam, positive correlations will not generally have the plus sign before them. They'll just say 0.90 or 1.00. Negative correlations will have the negative sign in front of them. Number six, hint six, a correlational study is not, I repeat, not, a true experiment. 7. Pictorial graphs of correlation are represented by scatter grams or scatter plots. My purple book, The Encyclopedia Counseling, shows this clearly in the graphical representation section of the text. Remember to hit that like button let me know if there's any videos you'd like to see me make. And remember, always use my YouTube videos with one, the Encyclopedia Counseling, the authentic purple book, two, my new Hot Off the Presses Master Lecture Series text, which actually you can buy now with a text-to-speech feature so you can listen to it if you buy the audio book. And generally, you have to buy the audio book through us to get that. The copies sold through Amazon, say Kindle, do not have that feature. And lastly, my Human Services Dictionary. Take those three items, combine them with these YouTube videos, and have a wonderful day, and thanks for spending this time with me.